we go. That'll help for the moment. We are going to go on an adventure. We're going to go look for the content. We're going to find the content. Instead of me just being the content, we're going to go find something. All right? Just, uh... All right, let's go. Down. There we go. Don't want to get any copyright strikes. Light on for safety. All right. So the reason I picked now to go look for some content because it's the golden hour. Now the golden hour is uh, well, maybe it's not the golden hour. Whatever. But uh, it's supposed to be the golden hour, according to the internet, but I feel like it get lied to me. So that sun is clearly not down over by the horizon yet. Oh well. We're going to go to the park. And we'll go to the content. Like that. It's going to look real nice. Now, this, uh, this park we're going to go to, it's, it's really nice, it's maintained by the neighborhood here, and uh, I did play around in it when I was little, I mean not too often because it's quite a distance to uh, bike or walk when you're a kid, because you're going to watch, since I'm not really editing on this too much, uh, this one's going to be done in real time, because I thought sun was going to be a tad lower in the sky, but uh, as you can see how long it's going to take even me driving at a speed that uh, it's quite far, especially for when you're like the age for playing in playgrounds. I mean, it depends. Uh, if, if there are kids there, then, we, then we're going to go. If they're not, uh, Maybe maybe let's not film a bunch of kids because that's that's a nightmare of a litigation. Let's have a CNA here. But uh there we there are they are quite small. stop sign so I will just wait for them. Uh, just wait for them. Just come on by. I got stop sign. I'm being nice. Uh, that nice little doggy. Alright, let's get over. Try not to get sprayed on by the sprinklers. That's gonna be real fun to wash off. sneak into the park. Well, not sneak into the park because it's open to residents sun up to sundown. But then I guess it's maybe a good thing that I got here before the sun went down because then somebody at HOA, you know, they watch everything like hawks. Let's just pull it right up. Oh, they changed it a bit. Okay. And that's a freaking falcon. Okay. Now that's convenient. Um, there's a falcon over there. I don't think you can see it quite right yet. Um, I'm gonna see if you can get of that. You can see. Let's wait for it to zoom in, but it's right there. Kind of cut blew the windshield, so let's see if I can step out here and get a little better view of it without spooking it. Well, this is very serendipitous. I believe this qualifies as content. So let's check it out. Oh, oh flew off. Dang it. Gotta do something real quick. Oh, looks like it's being attacked by mockingbirds. Let's 
see. Let's see if we can get some action shots of it. Right, so let me just set up here where the ground's nice and steady. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, left. Oh. So sad. It's good. That's it over here. This is the world's, uh, officially, the world's saddest basketball court. Also right next to the world's saddest volleyball court. I mean, I mean, they fixed that end, but they uh, haven't fixed this end. Let's head down to the lake. You can see, it's quite dry. Hold on, I'm gonna fix something real quick. This, this is chronic dryness. And then there's the world's saddest park bench. But, um, the water's supposed to be up to here, usually. I mean, it's supposed to go all the way over there, so let's head over there. I mean, a broken bench. Is that a, a technical, oh, you're getting sun. All right, let's just keep on keeping on. Yeah, no, that's just broken bits of bench. Very interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's, so you can see the this is where the water's supposed to go all the way up there. Head out a little bit. Oh, this is this this is spooky. This would be about I'm about five eight. This I would be I should be up to my neck. The water should be like right where my finger is. Just whoop. It's kind of spooky. So many seashells. Just clams and oysters or whatnot. It's probably like the world's largest um, ant hill. Spy funnel spider. I'll leave that alone. Oh, this is weird. Like these little weird divots. I can assure you, these are not meteorite crashes, but um, fish beds or something. Like fish would do something in them or whatever, like where they really would lay their eggs. Oh, this is spooky. I mean, that's a healthy shade of brown. I mean, good grief. It's just brown and sick. I mean, I can't remember who said it at what meeting. About there's a fish still in here somewhere. That retention ponds are just as good as a natural ecosystem as uh, for like maintaining ecological balance and whatnot, but I'm gonna call bollocks on that. I mean, this is just all eroded away. This is just sad. I mean, this is even worse than the last time I've been here because it was pretty bad, but not like this atrocious. Good lord. Like, they don't need to go to Africa to find those like sad drought scenes of just lakes all drying up or go out west to find them. They're right, it's right here. I mean, considering with all the wildfires, it makes sense. Just so much brown. I mean, I know like lakes in Florida are supposed to be kind of brown, but this isn't a regular brown. This is an advanced kind of brown. See, there's a that's what one of those beds over there is supposed to look like, but you know, underwater. Good thing you can't smell any of this because it smells like dead fish. It is 
it smells like rot and sick. And, but you know, there's still, I'm not sure if you can see that. If I can get the camera down there. But there are little fishies. I'm not sure if you can see them, little bugs on there, but I don't want to risk the camera. No. Whew. I think, see, like this is where like it's supposed to drain into. It comes through here and the rocks sort of filter it out a little bit, you know, keep any debris from ending up in the retention ponds. But you can see it's not even connected anymore. This is just going to dry up unless we get like a lot of rain. This is kind of sad, man. I was kind of hoping more for like fun content, but this is more sad content. Hopefully I just look like a nature photographer to anyone passing by, not like some kind of weirdo with a camera. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna turn you off real quick because let's go to an undisclosed location. Um, because I would, I was gonna like come and go and play on that playground equipment, but that looks like it's explicitly designed for small children. Yeah, no, that is, like, there's playgrounds where, yeah, no. More brown. Everything is brown. They did put a barbecue, which is brown. I guess that's the word of the day today is brown. Yeah, no, these are kitty things. These stuff proper swing, I think. Yeah, I can't even fit on this, like, no. Yeah. Nope, 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 that's not gonna work. That is, that's, da that's dangerous. You can slip and slide right off that. All right. Let's go to an undisclosed location. Um, Cause I don't know who owns the property, but it is like abandoned. It's an abandoned structure, I mean. Um, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna pretend that uh, you don't know where it is. Okay, even if you do know where it is, don't say where it is. Because uh, Big Brother's watching you. <laughs> 